it looks like there's a lot of joy in the film from the trailer. Yes. Um, can you talk to some of the themes of the film? Um, well, one of the themes is uh, the transmission of knowledge in the sense that uh, a lot of the musicians uh, talk about how they were influenced by a previous generation um, while, they were, while they were growing up in the United States, for example. Bobby Few, um, who was a pianist from uh, Cleveland, Ohio, talks about um, seeing uh, Tommy Flanagan um, play piano when he was just starting out. And uh, he went up to him afterwards and said, um, um, can, you, can you come over to my house later and, and show me some of, some of the chords you're playing? And he did. Yeah. And so um, Ricky Ford um, taught for a long time in, uh, in Istanbul. And he's, um, he's taken a lot of traditional Turkish music and transcribed it to, uh, to the saxophone. Um, one of the most moving moments for me, it's not in the film, but in the, the premiere of the film in, in Paris, um, John Betch, who is, uh, who is the, um, the uh, a drummer, a free jazz drummer, um, he had brought this young guy who had just arrived in Paris two days ago, and um, we, were, we had lunch, Mishka and everyone, and we had lunch afterwards, and, and we were talking, and um, he was this, I think he was somewhere from, uh, I don't know whether it was from Chicago, somewhere in the Midwest, and he was, he was on his first trip to Europe, and uh, he had been given John Betch's name, and they'd never met before, but it's, it's, it's like it's part of a tradition mm. that there's a responsibility to, to um, transmit, transmit the knowledge um, to the next generation. Yeah, and you mentioned that you weren't really on set for the film, but you worked a lot on it in post-production. Was that story and those themes easy to find in the edit, or was it, was it difficult? Um, no, Mishka had an idea of the film right from the beginning. I okay. mean, when I, when I look back and, and read how her, she was trying to get money from various producers, and she did, little bits here and there, and then she ended up taking it back and producing it herself. But the way she described how she saw um, the photo session at Montmartre was exactly how it happened. I was amazed. I mean, she talked about the idea that there would be um, tears and laughter, people, people meeting, people talking, sharing jokes. So um, there was that. And the fact that Ricky Ford um, uh, taught in, um, in Istanbul, mm. I mean, that was obviously a major thread. Yeah, and what was the reaction of the jazz musicians when they first saw the film at the at the premiere in Paris? Um, well, it's uh, I think three or four of the of the of the musicians who were profiled, including John Betch um, and Bobby Few and Ricky Ford, were at the premiere. Um, and Sangoma Everett, he's the he's the one he's the drummer, the one who speaks French mm -hmm. in the film. Um, it was a very moving experience for them for different reasons, partly because it had, it had been 10 years in the making, um, and that was just a question of finances. Um, but because of that delay, uh, the film resonated The film resonated for the musicians in a, in a very different way. Um, there is a moment in the film, you don't see it in the trailer, there's a moment in the film where one of the French musicians who plays with them and there are some some of the French musicians who showed up for the for the for the big photograph at the end of the film, Jean-Jacques Avenel. Um, Mishka, Mishka slowed down the film. There's a slow motion when he's greeting people, and that was a little bit of an homage because he passed away right. during during the uh, the ten years it took to make the film. And by the time uh, we had the premiere in Paris, several other musicians had also passed away. Mm -hmm. So. I mean, any documentary is going to be a snapshot of time. Yeah. But for these musicians, it was, it was a way for them to, you know, reflect on their lives um, as musicians in France, but also on their friends who had, who had passed. And then, well, of course, Mishka passed away as well. Yeah. So it has, it has various levels of meaning. And what do you hope the reaction is tonight from the screening? The screening is actually on Sunday afternoon. That's OK. Uh, well, I hope people will show up on Sunday and not tonight. Yeah, especially now I've ruined it by saying that. <laughs> um, I hope I hope people will come uh, and 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 enjoy the music. I mean, it's 
um, one of the reviews we had in France was um, it's it's about music, but it's about human warmth as well. Um, there is uh, the, the musicians the musicians who were interviewed um, all came to France for different reasons. Um, in one case, it was just out and out racism. He was just fed up with living in the United States. Yeah. Other and other others came for opportunities. Other came others uh, stayed for love. I mean, there are all all of these different reasons and um, the warmth. The warmth that the musicians have for each other and the affection it really it really comes through yeah. um, in the performances and in in the little moments that they share wonderful mark thank you so much for bringing the film for us thank you so much thank you